Hi everyone and welcome. What I'm showing you here is the Mega Moisture Bar that I made recently. As you can see, it only had a partial gel, which doesn't affect the quality of the soap, but it's not something I would feel comfortable selling. And I was going to try to fix it in the oven, but with everything else that was going on, I failed to do that. So <laughs> I decided to just make another one. But this one, I'm making even more luxurious. And rather than go through everything, I'm just putting it here on the screen for you. And I'll list it here again later in the video. But I just loved making this. <laughs> These are so wonderful to put together. There are no colors in this. I've added nothing additional to it. But what I am happy to have to have added to it are some wonderful essential oils. This, first of all, I have infused oils here, which I put on the screen. Infused oil of chamomile, calendula, lavender, and rosemary. And in addition to that, I'm adding rosemary and lavender essential oils. So the fragrance in this room is like heaven. And it is not, by the way, something I wanted to touch on. Men like these smells too. I think oftentimes folks think that men only want musky smells or bourbon or smoke. And while those are a lot of fun, we're not opposed to some florals. Now, I'm not a fan of rose for myself, <laughs> but I love lavender and rosemary. And in addition, they both are beneficial to us, right? And so why not use beneficial essential oils that smell great and, f and this soap is going to feel like heaven on the skin. Just, it has a lot of silk and well i listed the ingredients i'll list them again here for you though but i also want to emphasize how much i have missed making soap <laughs> this last week off was torture in that regard i it's become such a habit and sales have certainly been going well on the website so I need to restock anyway and add some newer soaps. So, wow, this feels great to be able to do this. And I am working on another soap as I'm editing this video, actually, that I'm really, they're my essential oils. Oh, they're so wonderful. <laughs> they really are. But I'm working on some other soaps and some other ideas as well. And I just want to tell you how much I love doing this and how much I love the response I get back from each of you. There are so many reasons to do this for many people. Some people do it for finances, some people do it for a hobby, some people do it out of necessity, some people do it, well there are just so many reasons to do this, right? Some people do it for popularity perhaps, for fame, I don't know. I do it because I absolutely love it. The way some people like sports <laughs> and the way some people like knitting or other crafts, that's how I enjoy this. It makes my day. And as you can see, this came out just so creamy and luscious. <laughs> I really enjoy pouring in the molds. There are times when this is the part that excites me the most. And here, I'm just going to top this with some chamomile blossoms and some calendula petals. And I've topped soaps with this before. And you know, I'm aware this is lazy. I don't do piping 
I don't do high tops on soaps, and I love those. I am envious of those who do make it look so easy, right? But this is my way out. <laughs> and it's a beautiful thing, I think. Now, I'm going to be honest. I personally, when I get soaps, if someone sends me soaps and they have flowers on top, I usually will pick them off before I use the soap because when they get wet, they can get a little mushy and icky anyway, right? But while you're waiting to use the soap, uh, while you're using another of my soaps, I hope, <laughs> it looks really pretty sitting about with those flowers on top. So I don't press them down into the soap. So they're just on there enough to adhere them to the top but they're easy to remove. So I just wanted to put that out there. I know that this may come across as sort of a cheap way to top it, at least time-wise, and perhaps it is, but I think it's really pretty. I do. So this time, I let these fully gel. They're a little soft on the edges, but it's gelled all the way through. No ring in this soap. <laughs> I've learned, don't interrupt a gel, even when you're in a hurry. Because then you end up with that ring. But you can fix yourself by putting it in the oven at a very low temperature and checking it every five minutes. But uh, that's a hassle that if we don't have to do, we certainly don't want to have to. And I'm cutting these a little thick, as I generally do, at about an inch and a quarter. I just like a hefty bar. And these came out lovely. They really did. They're a solid color, so there's no design to show you. But you know what's in these. It's pure skin-loving goodness. And you have a little cleanup to do on them, but... I'm going to wait till they harden up a bit overnight, and then I'll do a little more cleanup on them. But they came out really nice, and they smell heavenly. That's the best word I can think of. I really like how they turned out. And these are going to scent your entire bathroom, I assure you. So, thanks everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm so glad to be back making soap. <laughs> so I'll see you back a bit later. I hope you have a terrific day. Now at the end of this video, I have added some additional photos just to show you how it looks. And uh, thanks again, everyone. See you back soon. Goodbye.